Uh, I just finished my game of Burma, and uh, I definitely want to say, wow, well, uh, I don't usually like operational games. This is definitely one of my favorites that I've ever played. Uh, I rank it right up there with the Desert Fox in terms of my enjoyment, at least on this first play. I feel like I got my money's worth already on one playing, though. This is a nice long game. Um, what can I say first off? Well, one, the operational system is obviously really, really potent. Uh, the fact that you can use the same system with a few minor tweaks to simulate the, uh, the, the, the Russian offen the offensives over in Russia with their big breakthroughs and wide, broad moves. The Desert Campaign, which is fairly similar except with the constricted terrain, and I've seen other people handling them in the same kind of situation, so they work out very similarly. But this, with its infiltration combat, uh, that's a sign that this supply system, and it's the supply system that allows it to work, uh, is just really, really at the right level of detail uh, to be able to be applied generally. Uh, that's Im really impressive. With this particular, it's kind of odd that this game would receive a second printing. I mean, this is a minor backwater theater as far as people who are interested in World War II are concerned, usually. Um, yet it was popular enough to get this second printing. Now, I see why. Uh, this is a really impressive game. First of all, it felt like a nail-biter even though it wasn't. And I, But I have the feeling with two competent players as opposed to a couple half incompetent players, um, <laughs> you would generally get an even ba a good balance to the game. There's also the options in it, as with almost all gamers games that I've seen, I mainly relied on the tactical one stuff for this, uh, that allow you to explore a lot of different aspects of history. So you could get a lot of plays out of this game if you're someone who doesn't want to grab a lot of games. Um, it also has the advantage of most of the rules, the vast majority of the rule book is that, sta that standard system for the operational combat system. Yeah, it's a complex set of rules. It's 40 pages. That's, sorry, that's the verbal ones. Uh, but the, yeah, this is also about 40, 48 pages, but it's a beautiful rule set. I mean, this is how you should do a complex set of rules or at least this level of complexity. Maybe with more complex things like SFB, this is no longer sturdy enough. Uh, the Burma rules themselves are really only about 10 pages of special rules. That's all you need to add to get um, a very, very different flavor. One that includes uh, units that are operating completely outside of supply. Not just paratroopers, but with the chindits, with the Japanese. People who are just operating with no real supply line at all. Um, very small modifications to handle foraging for them. Uh, think what else? The, uh, the fact that it's divided into almost three completely separate campaigns for most of the game. Uh, they're linked, and it's very important. You have to, you have to react to the, two, to the different places. But the Chindits are almost on their own trying to accomplish some goal that heavily affects uh, what the Chinese and Americans are doing. And the British are in a situation where your air power might have to be diverted for their, for their help. Uh, the the hump uh, transfers as well, where you have this option to move your air power, uh, your transport capability, for big turns where it's important uh, to take care of that. What else can I say about it? I, you know, I, I think I'm going to rate this guy about a 9. Uh, maybe an 8. With the It'll probably go up to a 9 next time. But I, I think it's good enough for the 9. And it's definitely opened me up to wanting to try more of this series. Um, the standard combat series felt like a very good operational game. This feels like... This feels like the Desert Fox to me in, in terms of... That was just a seminal game for me. Most operational games just do not strike me that well. I thought it was the subject matter. I think, no, it's handling supply in that much detail. It opens up a lot of opportunities and a lot of possibilities. Great game. Um, 
if, if you're willing to handle the complexity, especially on the supply side, people who are going to use the word fiddly are going to use it here because you've got to be moving trucks around all over the place uh, to keep your, your, your units in, in, in supply. Um, of course, there's the air option, and the Japanese don't really need it. They can slip around in the mountains. But yeah, if you're willing to deal with the complexity, this is a fantastic game and probably a very good series, I would guess, because... Yeah. <laughs>